guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I'll be reacting ring to episode 5 of Love Line uh, Nijikasaki School IO Club. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Lovely little Emma. What else can I say about Emma? Emma is my. Hmm. Emma is my third best girl. My first and my second have not had episodes about them. They've been featured in episodes for other girls, but they're not the main one yet. So they should be coming soon. And if funny how cotton is literally like everywhere. <laughs> and this is how they became best friends. Oh my god. Isn't that a little too much, though? Oh, okay. Go ahead. Is it good? Good? <laughs> ah, of course. Yeah, she's very similar to um, Arya from uh, I Got Two Stars. He's so cute. Gotta love him. But yeah, she she's very similar to Arya from I Cut Two Stars. The they're both from Switzerland, from what I remember. I think she is. Um, the auras that they give out is just so freaking adorable. And you're like, oh my god, I can't with these two. They're so fucking adorable. Like, mm. I mean, mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. no wonder why. <laughs> Emma is my third best girl. I love her outfits. Like, hell, especially the first outfit that you get for her in the game. It's just so cute and her aesthetic is adorable. Anything Emma wears, she just... Like, oh, God. I, I can't. She's an adorable baby girl. Even though she is not my number one, she still adorbs. And you gotta love her. I just want to hear her song now. But I do also like the new girl that has also gotten a music video officially as of last night. She is like bomb as fuck. And I'm like, this is a badass bitch. <laughs> so I think she's also a third year as well. Well, we know she is. We know. But you're going to. Something tells me that um, Cotting's going to be the last one to be focused on. I mean, you know how, like, um, 
Ellie was the last one to be to officially come and I think what Daya was the last one as well So what did you two do? <laughs> oh, it's not bad. That's a good question. How many views does Cosme's video have? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, you like cute things as well, Bunny. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, you, that's so mean, but it's so cute. <laughs> Something tells me that Shizuku's gonna be next to be the focus on after this episode. Because if we're... Mm, god, no. I would have to look at that ending theme again to see, like, that order of who's after Emma, and then we'll know. Well, that's what you got Kasumi for. <laughs> well, everybody has different ideas. Let's see. Oh my god.
Mm-mm. Not into groups like that. Hmm? What's wrong? Work? Hmm. I do hate the fact that she kind of distanced herself from the girls. I get the fact of that reason why, but <sighs> you can see it all over her face that she wants to join, but it's just not time yet. It's coming, but... to do that. Hmm? <laughs> See, like I said, you say that, but oh my god. <laughs> Girl, you got the best damn song in the game. Do you not know how much Starlight was memed when the game came out? <laughs> oh, God, that sounds so good, though. <laughs> Connie. Just give it time. <laughs> Cause isn't that like, didn't they use her love live dream, yeah, dream fest? No, no, no. That's Ben today. Love live fest. I don't remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> One of her fest cards with her and grass and her wearing a flower crown and everything looking so freaking cute. She's upset about cutting. Hmm? Oh. She put down in school idols. I mean, because we all know, Cotton is hot-headed as hell, but that's okay. That's another reason why we love her so much. <laughs> Just come on. Oh, 
Oh, he's so cute. I just need my one other girl, my best girl, to hang out with them. And I will be complete. Like, oh my god. <laughs> And I think because I gave that away, maybe y'all know who my best girl is, but. <laughs> it's not just for show. Just tell her the truth. Stop, you're gonna make me cry. Um. But you can still be cool as an idol. I mean, oh my god. Because, like, typically for me, I, like, any idol game that I play, the ones that I am interested in are the cool, sexy, mature ones. Or it could be the cool ones who are still a little bit goofy. <laughs> I can't with them. They're so cute. That's why, like, Kayani Takagagi is my number one for Cinderella Girls, and I love her so much. Also because her voice actress is my number one paid voice actress. <laughs> You're so funny. 
fucking cute. Oh my god. Stop. My heart. Oh, they're so cute. Like, Jesus. Y'all didn't have to do me like that this week. <laughs> but you did, and I loved it. They so cute. Oh my god. If cutting is not the next episode and we go to somebody else, I'll be okay with that. But just the way you know how like when I it was I's episode and we had like the focus between I and Rena because it was literally about them, even though um I was the main focus and I was like, Oh my god, like if Rena does not get this next episode, then why are we scamming? And like <laughs> But no, it's cute. Like, I can't. This is a good episode. I mean, just the relationship between these two is just so freaking adorable. And the love that they have for each other. Because, you know what? Because I ship them. I think everybody kind of ships these two after this episode. <laughs> Honestly, if you don't, now you do. Because they just so freaking cute. I mean, it makes you wonder why... Um. They didn't necessarily put them in a, in a subunit together. I get that because they want to, like, have all the girls be in a relationship with each other and have, like, friendships and the dynamic and everything. So I get why they put um, I and Cotton together because they're such a good duo and they song is good as hell. I'm sorry because all songs are good, but, like, mm. And then also my best girl songs are good, too. <laughs> And with that, we now officially have our full set. Is it Rena? Is it your turn? It is, isn't it? It's her turn. Oh, baby. Oh, precious. Oh, baby. He going up. Oh, my God. She's <laughs> so fucking cute. I want her guy dang Sid Fest card. Not Sid Fest. Her Love Life Fest card so bad. Her and freaking Nozamine decided to get theirs now. And I'm just like over here. I'm like, God damn it. Like, y'all didn't have to do this to me. I was like, oh my God. Even though Rena is not, she's not my number one. My number one is coming. So I feel like she might have to be after Rena. Or, because who do we have left? Um, We got, okay. Take out Rena because Rena's next. So, um, she's cool. Cotton and Kanata, I think that's all we have left, those three girls. So if, I don't know, because I don't think they would do it as we do Rena, then we do Chizuku, and then we do the last two third years. I don't know. I mean, they could go back and forth, but I feel like Cotton is going to be that last one because of the fact is she has joined last, make her the last girl. Um, to have an episode focus on because she's had so many other episodes where someone else has been that front runner of getting their episode and she's been on the side still getting some side focus until it's officially her time to be that main focus but yeah I mean seriously like Rena's her her fest outfit is just so adorable it suits her so much she's just so fucking cute and she makes me sometimes tear up of how adorable she is even though she's not my best girl but I still love her because she's so fucking cute and I'm like oh my god I just want like freaking plushies of her or anything of her and just be like oh my god you're just so fucking adorable I love you so much but for an episode about baby girl Emma Emma's just the sweetest thing and I love her so much and I love the fact that she's so no matter what positive and upbeat I love the relationship that she has with Cotton because that was the first girl she met and they have an established friendship also relationship because they are together you can't tell me that they're not together honestly like you look at them and be like "Mm mm-hmm they doing some ish on the side when nobody's looking (laughs) 
I mean, come on. It's, they're just so cute. And you can see that there, there's a lot of chemistry between these two. And they're just so fucking adorable. And I can't. They kind of remind me of um, Ayn and um, Shiho from Persona 5. And so, of course, Cotton is Ayn. And Emma is definitely a She-Ho, but not with the situations that happen with She-Ho in Persona 5. If you have not played the game, I won't even spoil it. But if you do play it, just be very mindful of the first palace because a lot of ish goes down in that first palace with She-Ho. So yes, but it was a really good episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Love Live Yuji Kentucky School Idol Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 6. Bye, guys.